Thank you for your wisdom. I hope you take my advice under consideration. You might be happy if you did. Buona fortuna. Take care. You too. Grazie. Let her go. Let her go. I'll take, I'll take your head off. Let her go. Put your gun down right now. Put it down. You too. Put it down right now. Put the gun. Let go. I got your message. What happened? Brenda's gone. All right, start at the top. Um, she and I had a fight, and then I came storming out. I, I was uh, running out through the garden over here, and a couple of guys grabbed me. And at first I thought it was a joke, because, you know, this director that I'm working with, he does that sometimes, try and get actors into the right mindset or whatever, but uh, this, these guys were trying to push me into the van, and one of the guy's guns went off, shot a real bullet. Well, how'd you get away? I don't know. They let me go. And then I came back here. And uh, the first thing that I saw was Brenda. She's standing here, hand in hand, with some guy who's got a gun. Um, two other men. Was she struggling? No. She wasn't. I mean, she, she and this man, they went running off together. <sighs> we should be all right here. Nobody followed us. Okay, I paid the desk clerk extra so you forget what we look like. Okay. I thought the days of you and that the threat were over. Yeah, me too. So what about who those guys? Who sent who sent them after you? Uh, there's a Interpol thinks that some criminals are. I guess I'm sorry, I can't believe you're standing in front of me right now. Looks like I finally got the timing right. She probably doesn't have her cell. I'm calling Interpol. I'm going to talk to that agent. I'm going to tell him what's going on here. Bad idea. Suzanne, Brenna's in danger. You said she went with this guy voluntarily. Yeah, but they, these guys are still after her. I'm sure they're connected with the guys who grabbed me. And she and this man got away. Yeah, if they catch her, they could kill her. And if Interpol gets to her instead, who do you think she's going to want to kill? I don't 
don't give a damn. I just want her to be safe. Well, then we just have to wait until we hear from her. That makes no sense. Murphy, this is Brenda we're talking about. If we call in her poll and they come swooping in here, she's just gonna be pissed as hell. She'll refuse security, and then she'll be in even more jeopardy. Robin says she saw you in Africa. Uh, yeah, yeah, I work for this uh, organization. It's called ASEC, we work with. You visit kids, kids who have nothing. Give them help, media exposure. Yeah. It's so crazy. I'm walking through this hotel room and I hear Robin's voice in Africa. And I didn't really get to talk to her for very long because my people came and dragged me out to go do some publicity thing. Yeah. I spent the last eight years of my life in a hotel room. You know, I'm always running. There never seems to be time for anything else. Robin said you, you asked about me. Uh, well, she actually insisted on giving me your email and your cell. Yeah, so. she gave she gave me her cell email. She did. So did she have your permission? I don't even remember. It was so fast. Everything happened so fast. You know, my partner Suzanne. Uh, she's my partner in ASEC. She was rushing me out because we were running late. So. You were running late. That's. I can't believe that. I'm actually better at being on time now. I am. Maybe people are more patient with you showing oh, up late than oh, I was. Oh, you maybe, know? yeah. So who were those men? Uh, uh, in Interpol thinks that uh, some guy named Balkan is supposedly after me. Okay, I, I've never done business with, with Balkan, but I hear he's, he's very dangerous. If Interpol knows that you're a target, do they know why he's coming after you? Sure, yeah, be because of the work that I do with these kids. You know, I shut down these big shots who exploit children, so I'm sure he has something to do with that. Why are you out here alone? I don't get that. What do you mean, uh, alone? Like, well, if Interpol is looking, uh, the, the, you know, I don't like guards. You know that better than me. Yeah, but I'm just, uh, I don't want to get back into this whole thing. I'm sorry. Are you going to give me a lecture? No, <laughs> no. We haven't seen each other in eight years. It's lecture time about why I should have guards around me. What if, what if I hadn't been there? You were. Why are we outside my hotel? I, uh, I wanted to see you. Why didn't you call me? I, I tried, but the line was busy. When did you try calling me? Today? No. It's a couple of weeks ago. Um, I know. A couple of weeks ago. You tried yeah. calling me once. I didn't answer. And then what? You decided you should jump on a plane to Rome? To this is a little more complicated. Of course. Everything's complicated with but, you. But that's why we made such a good fit, because you, you <gasps> like complicated. I do? You, you know, it, no, it's I, I used to. I used to. I'll tell you the truth. Robin told me she saw you in Africa, and I started remembering old times. Like, you know, when I first met you on the docks, and I grabbed your suitcase, and I introduced myself. That's pretty much that. I should have kept walking that day. Well, you could have kept walking, but I would have found you eventually because uh, you, you had me hooked and you knew it. What else do you remember? I don't know. You know, like uh, when we tried living together and you used to get up in the morning and do super, you know, uh, <laughs> sit ups. Sit ups. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. And then you said you wanted to build a, uh, you know, a fantasy home made out of all wood and glass and... can't believe really remember that. Our last unmarried date. Mm. You wore that red dress and uh, you had the flower in your hair. The way you drive me crazy, break my heart and make me the happiest man alive. <laughs> I used to love, you know, the way you kind of Look at me, and you smile. But then, you know, I say to myself, that was, uh, you know, a long time ago, those were yeah. just memories, and you go, you went your way, I went my way. So I needed to come to Rome to just know what it would feel like to see you again.
figured I'd watch you for a while, see if, you know, you were happy. And then go away. Mm. So if those guys hadn't shown up, those, those bad guys, I, I wouldn't have seen you at all? Well, I mean, you know, you knew how to reach me even before Robin gave you the cell number. You knew how to contact me. I, I just thought that maybe you wanted distance. You know, I've been walking around with your number on a post-it. <laughs> Remember post-its? <laughs> I've been carrying it around in this old date book. Remember <clears throat> date books. I tried to call you. I tried to call you, too, a couple weeks ago. Think maybe we were trying to call each other at the same time, you know, like what's that? Uh, serendipity? I don't know. Anything's possible. Yeah. You really think anything's possible?